Now, the public protector is set to release findings into more investigations conducted by her office, but various stakeholders, including senior ANC leaders, have criticized her investigation into President Cyril Ramaphosa's donation from Bosasa. ENCA's Moloko Moloto is in Pretoria. He joins us now live uh, ahead of that briefing. So, Moloko, the public protector is set to release uh, a whole range of uh, information around general investigations her office uh, is conducting, but do we know whether that will inc include uh, her report involving the president's Bosasa donation? Hello, Michelle. Well, at this stage, we don't know the specific reports that the public protector is going to be releasing today. Um, but, of course, that uh, her office investigates thousands and thousands of uh, complaints every year. Uh, in fact, to date, uh, she has investigated over 30,000 since she took over uh, the responsibilities here. Of course, uh, not all the cases um, uh, often result in uh, reports uh, being written. In some instances, she will just uh, um, uh, uh, issue an instruction. Now, today we are aware that uh, it's uh, almost uh, seven months or so since the investigation into Bosasa affair, the donation that uh, was made to President Cyril Ramaphosa's campaign was laid by the Democratic Alliance. And in terms of uh, the law, um, that particular investigation or, uh, should have been concluded within a month since uh, Musi Maimane, the leader of the official opposition, uh, 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 made that complaint. Now, as I say, it's well over six to seven months now. We obviously are not sure whether that report will be among those that the public protector will be releasing. You should also remember, Michelle, that uh, the public protector reportedly issued uh, notice uh, 79 to the president, which reportedly is an indication that perhaps the president does have a case to answer in terms of that particular uh, investigation, which perhaps explains the fact uh, that uh, there's a delay of uh, nearly seven months or so. Uh, Moloko, we also know that today uh, is the deadline that Musi Maimane gave President Cyril Ramaphosa. Just tell our viewers about that. Yes, in fact, uh, two, three days back, Musi Maimane uh, uh, wrote a letter to the president uh, saying to him that uh, he must make an undertaking in writing, uh, saying, uh, confirming that uh, he will not use public funds to take uh, on judicial review um, any possible adverse finding that the public protector may make against him regarding this whole Busasa affair. In fact, Musi Maimani giving the president until 4 o'clock today to write back to him to confirm that. And uh, he even says that uh, he, as the DA, they reserve their rights should the president not uh, respond accordingly. Now, you will remember that uh, this is informed by the fact, Michelle, that in 2018, December, the High Court actually ruled that uh, former President Jacob Zuma must repay money amounting to 16 million rands. This is the money which the state paid towards his personal legal costs, both criminal and civil uh, a, a, a litigation that uh, he was uh, facing. Now, that uh, obviously means that uh, going forward, because you remember that the explanation that the presidency has been making was that it actually entered into an agreement with the former president that uh, the state will pay for those personal costs and only if he loses, then he will have to repay. An interesting question therefore, Michel, that I should also indicate, which I posed to the presidency, that was three weeks back, still to date, there is no response, was that you remember that in the court papers, the presidency actually emerged that the presidency made a commitment in parliament that the, actually the, 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 the state is going to withhold the pensions of the former president Jacob Zuma uh, and make sure that the matter is finalized uh, 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 before it pays out so that if he doesn't pay, the state will then use uh, those uh, pensions to settle those legal costs. So the question that I put to the presidency was that since the president, actually that undertaking was actually made in 2008 in parliament and it was in the court papers um, of the court that was sitting in uh, 2018 December. 
Now, the president left, the former president left office. We don't know at this stage whether the state actually kept a promise to withhold his pension or whether it actually paid out. And with the presidency not giving us a response, we are all spe speculating, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks very much for that, Moloko Moloko.